For our next example, we now are going to have the second mass move to the left with an initial velocity of 5 meters per second. The first object is still moving to the right at an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. The masses are 4 kilograms and 2 kilograms. It's an inelastic collision, means that the energy is not conserved and the two stick together. You could have a case where the, uh, the collision is inelastic, but they don't stick together, and we'll show you an example of that in a few more videos, but let's first go through these rudimentary ones so we slowly build up our understanding of how to deal with the conservation momentum type of problems. All right, so let's go ahead and write the equation down that momentum before the collision equals the momentum after the collision, because no matter what, that is always the case. There's no exception to that rule, and so we can write that m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial equals m1 plus m2 because they're joined together times v final which is what we're looking for so again solving for v final we can write v final is equal to the left side of the equation which is m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial divided by the coefficient of v final which is m1 plus m2 now we just have to plug in the values, but remember, the signs are important here because momentum is a vector quantity, so if the velocity is to the left, it's indeed negative momentum. If the velocity is to the right, that is positive momentum. So this is equal to m1, which is 4 kilograms, times initial velocity of 10 meters per second, plus m2, which is 2 kilograms, times a negative 5 meters per second because the original velocity, the initial velocity is in the negative direction and the whole thing divided by the sum of the two masses which is 4 kilograms plus 2 kilograms. Okay, so this is 40 minus 10, that's 30 divided by 6. 30 divided by 6 is 5, so that would be um, 5 meters per second still in a positive direction because obviously the mass that has the object has the most mass and has a larger velocity moving to the right will have a larger positive momentum to the right than this object will have negative momentum to the left so we expect both of them still to be moving to the right after the collision and that's how we do that